the memory verse of today um, is for Second Chronicles 16. Second Chronicles 16. I will read some verses. Uh, I will read in verse 2. Verse 2 to, to uh, verse 2 to 3. Yeah, and then, okay. A and then we jump to 7. Yeah. Okay, I'll read. Second Chronicles, Chronicles 16. Nyakati. Mamba Nyakati. Yeah. Osa took the silver and gold out of treasures treasuries of the Lord's temple and of his own palace and sent it to Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, who was ruling in Damascus. There, let there be a treaty between me and you, he said, as there was a, between my father and your father. See, I'm sending you silver and gold. Now break your treaty with Baasha, king of Israel, so he will withdraw from me. Uh, uh, ben Haddad, number four, Ben Haddad agreed with King Osa and sent the commanders of his forces against the towns of Israel. They conquered Yon, Dan, Abel, Maim, and all the store, store cities of Naphtal. Okay? Yeah. When ba Baasha had this, he stopped building Rama and abandoned his work. Amen. Amen. And then I jumped. To seven, and he said, At that time, Hanan the seer came to Osa, king of Judah, and said to him, This is very important, because you relied on the king of Aram and not on the Lord God, the army of the Lord of the king of Aram he has escaped from your hand. And they asked, Number eight, were not the Cushites and the Libyans a mighty army with great numbers of chariots and horsemen? Yet, when you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hands. For the eyes of the Lord ran throughout the earth to strengthen, listen, those whose hearts are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing. And from now on, you will be at war. Amen. Amen. And then, we can jump. You see, in, in verse uh, uh, 12. In the 13th, in the 13th year of the, his reign, Osa was afflicted with a disease in his feet. Though his disease was severe, even in his illness, he did not seek help from the Lord, but only from the, from the physicians. And then he died. Amen. Hallelujah. What I want to say to, to you today, you can see here this king also, the way what he did, he did not fully rely on the Lord. So the message today is fully rely on the Lord. That is a memory verse. But not little. People that, sometimes people they say, yes, I rely on the Lord. I depend on the Lord. They, they, they just say, but they are not fully. At the same time, you rely on the things. At the same time, you rely on people. At the same time, you rely on your strength. At the same time, you rely on your education, on your knowledge, on your ability. Hallelujah. On the, you rely on the news you hear. You rely on the facts. You rely on the reality. You rely on what people say. Hallelujah. But you don't rely, fully rely on God. Even though we are living in this world, we have all those things around us. It's true. It's a fact. It is this. It can be this. It can be that and that. But what is God saying? Hallelujah. Amen. What is God saying? Because God said very clear that my ways are not your ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not a human. Hallelujah. Sometimes you can see things, what you see, your wisdom, 
You know, our wisdom, our knowledge, everything has limitation. Hallelujah. We can look here on the sky. That is the end. But God look everywhere. Amen. The eyes of God is everywhere. The power of God is everywhere. You see, God is here. Today we are doing service here. Maybe there's another church doing service. God is there. Europe, here in Europe, many kinds of people are doing service, God is there. In America, people are doing service, God is there. Asia, whatever, Australia, uh, everywhere, God is there. And he's doing things for them. Everybody is praying, but God is listening. And you say, people say, how can that be possible? Mm. Because he is God. Amen. Just rely on him. Hallelujah. Mm. And he said, God, he said, he said that, he, he, he said, God, deliver those who who, whose hearts are fully committed to, to him. Fully committed to him. Sometimes there's some things you want to do. You can say that I'm, I'm disqualified. I'm not, I don't have that qualification. I don't have this and that. I don't fit there. I don't do there. But you know, when you learn God, God can make it possible for you. Amen. Amen. We have seen in the Bible in many places, David, how David was. The Bible said David was so little. And you can talk about I mean, Goliath was so big. And when, he, when I mean, uh, uh, David was going to fight him, he said he took the stone, yes, but by the direction of God. And when he went, he was fully committed to God. He was reliant to God 100%. He didn't care how big he is. He didn't care what weapon he had. He didn't care how he looked like. He didn't care the army around him. He didn't care what other people were threatening him about him. He didn't care what the praise is around him. What he said, I'm going to fight you in the name of the Father, of the Lord. And what he did, he was throwing this one. He was throwing, yes, you know, there's something you have to do just to follow your faith. But it's not you are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. The stone you do like this, he said, this is God. And God did it. You know? So if it could be in, in today's life, I'm telling even people, even the people who are, are born again, they say, ah, no, you know, let's, let's go back to reality. Mm. Yes, reality it is reality. We cannot deny it. But when God says, well, what God can do, God can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Rely on God 100%. That's why this seer came to him. And man said to him, he reminded him what God did before. You know, because that time you remember the Israel and Judah, they were separated. Israel, they had 10 tribes. And Judah had only Two tribes. They were little, small nation. This was so big. But when they were going to fight, because they asked God, and God fought for them. Yeah? He fought, you know, they were, I mean, fighting with the Libya. They were fighting with the, with the I mean, the, uh, Kushites. The Bible said, he won over them. They were small. Say, you relied on God, and he did. So, it was not, he said, they, were, they had many chariots. Many army, the army was so big, but it doesn't matter. But the hand of God was with them. It was not about their ability. It was not about their skills. It was not about anything about them. Just their heart commitment with God. And God did it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And here at the at the end, um, at the end here. So this man, you see, you hear this story, he depended on the other king, say, okay, if I pay money, and then I get this. And if this is the what we are adding, I mean, we are lying to ourselves. So if I give money to somebody, yeah, they will help me. If I do this, sometimes you can give money. When you don't have money, you, <coughs> they look at you down like this. But when you have money, they will take you, and you, you do somebody. You be somebody to them. But when you rely on God, even that money will, will be worth it. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. When you rely on God, even that strength will be more worth it. Mm. When you learn God, that knowledge you have, that education you have, whatever you have will be worthy. Amen. Amen. But if you don't rely on God, it will be worthless, I'm telling you. Because here the Bible says, say, you will be at war. Because now, it's God who will, will, I mean, will give you out. Hallelujah. Amen. Expose you to war. There's no protection. God will remove his hands. Because you, 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 you rely on your own. So you do, do it on your own. Because you don't want God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then here, the Bible says in, uh, in, verse, uh, in verse 11, he said, uh, 12, sorry. He said, also was afflicted with a disease in his feet. Though his disease was severe, even in his illness, he did not seek help from the Lord. 
but only from the physician. Hallelujah. In, in our illness, yes, we know we can go to the hospital. Yes, we can use medicine. Yes, we can do, you know, but all this we can, cannot work if God is not there. This is, a, you know, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how good a physician can be, how, how everything, you know, you can do, but if God is not there, you are nothing. He said here, even the physician, even the, I mean, he seek that this uh, from the physician. He didn't seek from God, so uh, so he died. He didn't rely on God. So I'm telling you, even in your sickness, even whatever you are doing, seek God all the time. Rely on God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the end of our memory verse.